How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to the Weekly Wire. Today we're going to be looking at the system you've probably seen around the internet known as hoiking. Uh, hoiking is the ability to quickly move through blocks that have been hammered. Um, it has a lot of applications once you learn how to use it. Uh, one of the obvious ones that I'm demonstrating now is rapid transport without the need for wiring and teleporters because it's a lot more simple to set up a basic hoist system and you can also do it very early into the game. Um, what we're going to explore today is just an introduction to it and look at some more advanced uh, transportation we can use. Firstly, I need to give credit, I believe uh, the member of the TMAC forum, Zero Gravitas, uh, is one of the first to discover this and i have linking both to his YouTube and to the TMAC forums in the description and also a user called Joe Price has done a bit of work with Hoiking as well who I'll also link to in the description. Alright guys, let's get started. Okay, the next thing I'd like to look at is how this might work if you use Hoiking inside your base. So I've set up a few simple runs here to show how it would work. So I've got the blocks hammered this way. So to head uh, horizontally, you need the hammering sort of on the top end of the block with the teeth facing this way. And I'll just show you the wiring. All I've got is a simple actuated block and a switch. That's all there is to it. You sort of walk towards the right side of the block and turn it on and get hit by a slime. It's just that easy. All right, the next thing I've got is how to move upwards. Uh, to move up with a hoik, you need them around waist height. So your character is three blocks high. And all I've done is set up a little entryway, just because it's good to have the walls around you, just to stop uh, the hoik pushing you out any which way. And the walls will shut when I turn it on. All right, so that's a vertical hoik. And here's just the horizontal one again, this time going to the left. And here I've just put a switch in because it pushes this against the wall, so we're going up. And another horizontal hoik. And here's one we haven't looked at, moving downwards. And you can see I've actually got the floor alternating. So if you were to have like a trap door or something in your base, it's pretty simple to wire up. All I've got is actuated blocks here. And to make them uh, half off and half on, all you need to do is use a wire cutter and cut off some of the actuators and then you can alternate it and I'll show you now. So you just take off the actuators and then you can actually have both off, one off or a combination of both. Alright, so we walk in, turn it on and we're back on the ground. So we just went through all four directions. Now obviously in your base you might want to have to stop every time. And I looked at this on Zero Gravitas video and he looked at how to move continually, so the hoik's hooking into each other. So this one is head height with a line of stone keeping you in place. Then you hook into the wall, go vertical up, vertical up, that's like saying up, up. And then it hoiks you into this sideways horizontal one. And I just said side, side. <laughs> All right, so let's try it anyway. All right. So basically using this, it's possible to have them connect with each other and move in several directions all in the one hoik. So say you wanted to have a secret passage in your base, it's quite possible to have like a run going to something special. You could use it for less honorable ways, such as griefing people. You could hoik them into a death pit. Um, or you could have like a secret arena. There's a lot you could do. Did you know guys, you can also move items with hoiking and I've been thinking about it and I'm thinking we could make it a lot of improvements to some of the traps we've already made if we were able to use some item hoiks. So what I want to do over the next couple of weekly wires is look at using wiring and hoiking to really create some advanced traps here. Now I'm not an expert in this guys so all I'm presenting each week is some easy lessons if you're interested in learning hoiking. Um, that you can follow and let's build some traps together. I'd like to see some suggestions in the comments of what you'd like to see. Um, move, combining some of the traps we already use with some potential new methods. And at the very least, I hope you've learned something this episode. Leave a, leave a like if you've enjoyed it.
comment if you want to see something in particular. And as always, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined us. I'd really like to have you as part of our awesome team here. All right, thanks for watching. Stay happy. And don't forget, there's a big shout out to Zero Gravitas and Dice Man X for all their awesome work on hoiking. All right, guys, stay happy. This is Happy Day signing out.